What up, Vogue Nation? It's Kyle Gold, and back here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best pulling exercise for calisthenics. Alright, so the best pulling exercise for calisthenics, in my opinion, would be elsip pull. The reason why I say elsip pulls is one of the best pulling exercises for calisthenics is because it involves your whole entire body. You're activating every single muscle inside your group, but it mainly focuses on your core and also your lats. Because when you're in that elsip position, your core is activated to keep your body stable and in that elsip position. And when you pull, you're activating your fast push muscle fibers which is going to activate you to be explosive whenever you pull. So I'm going to be showing you guys a workout that you can do to achieve the LSIP pull-up if you want so you can add it to your workout right here. Not only will LSIP pull-ups make your physique look better, but overall increase your overall strength because whenever you're in that LSIP position again, you're going to focus mainly on your back and your lats and your, also your core because in the LSIP position, your core is going to be activated and then you're going to be pulling. And also, if you keep doing LSIP pull-ups, I promise you, muscle-ups and doing regular pull-ups will become a breeze. And most of all, you can, if you keep doing LSIP pull-ups, you can I promise you guys, if you unlock LSIP pull-ups, muscle-ups, pull-ups, and chin-up muscle-ups even, and so many other exercises will become so easy if you unlock LSIP pull-ups and add it to your workout routine. Also, I'm going to be showing you guys some exercises that you can do to achieve LSIP pull-ups and also, if you want to add weight to some of the exercises, if you can already do LSIP pull-ups, you can always do that because if you add weight normally in anything, it'll always increase your strength and also your overall physique. So let's get right to it. All right, so the first exercise we're going to get into is pull-ups. So the reason why I chose pull-ups as the first exercise is because pull-ups is probably one of the best things you guys should be learning and knowing how to do because pull-ups is like a foundation that, that any person starting calisthenics should be doing because it'll lead on to harder progressions as you progress more into calisthenics. So pull-ups will be great for learning the LSIP pull-up. We're going for 15 reps. If it's 15 is too much of a high rep range, you guys can always lower it down to whatever you want. Or also you can bring out a resistance band if you want. All right, so let's go. Nice little warm up. All right, moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna be doing LSIP hold. We're gonna hold it to max. So, obviously, if you want to learn how to do LSIP hold, then you need to learn how to do LSIP first. So, if you can't already do LSIP, you can always use a resistance band. So, let me show you how to do that with the resistance band. Throw it over. You stick it through one side. Pull it down. And then you step inside. You just bring it like that. So I'm not going to be using it because I have high priority to do it Alright, let's go. So let's hold this for max. Let's go. Try to have a nice overgrip so you don't lose grip. Also, when you're in this position and you get tired, you can always switch one leg in and out. Alright, so We're going to be doing tuck L-sit pull-ups. So we're not doing L-sit pull-ups yet, we're just doing the previous progression which is going to be tuck L-sit pull-ups. So you're going to get in tuck position, and you're going to pull. After this exercise, I'm going to be showing you guys this exercise with the resistance band also. So you can get used to doing it. So let's go, we're going to go for 10 reps. It's also nice to hold up top so you get used to feeling, uh, feeling that position. And let's do it with the resistance band. Same concept, step in. Do not lock your legs out. Just bring it up like a knee raise. I promise you, if you step inside of this and you just bring your legs up, you'll feel light as a feather. Alright, there we have the top LC pull up. 
Alright, moving on to the next exercise, we're we'll doing negative L-sit pull-ups. So what I mean by that is the same thing as jump negative pull-ups. Jump up, go down slow, but instead, whenever you're at the top and you're holding, you can go to an L-sit position and you're gonna go down as slow as you can. Alright, let's go. down at the top and you go straight down to the bottom, hold that L-sit position. <sighs> oh man, sorry this exercise, I'm already bringing a sweat. I'm going to go on to the next exercise, we'll be doing L-sit pull-ups with the resistance band. So if you have a resistance band, you can always grab one, or you can just pick it up at your local store, like Walmart. Alright, so if you do have different types of resistance band, and you want to make it easier for yourself you can, so you can do more reps, you can always use the thicker one. I'm using the thinnest one that I have. So, also position, you can pull to the highest, or also you can just pull to your chest. Yeah. Right, let's just bring this out. for a while, you should be able to do your first Elsa pull-up. So, let me show you how that looks like. <sighs> Woo! You guys should be doing that. If you guys can only do one rep, that's fine. Always use a resistance band to add in more reps, and then over time, your whole body will become stronger and then you'll get used to the pulling motion, you can finally do it without the resistance band. Alright guys, that was the last and final exercise for the whole entire workout. I hope you all enjoyed today's video of me showing you guys the best pulling exercise for calisthenics, in my opinion, and also a short workout that you guys can do to achieve the Elsa pull. And remember, if you think you can't do the, the next progression, you can always go back to the previous progression and make sure to always do it with perfect form so you don't cheat yourself. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely share this video with a friend who wants to know the best pulling exercise for calisthenics, in my opinion. Also, if you want to check out more of my content, follow me, IG at calisthenics. I'll upload every Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Peace out.